Well, hello everyone and welcome back. So today I wanted to share with you my unique way of chopping wood. Now, this is, might not be the safest way of doing it, but this is the way I do it to save time and save a little bit on my back, I guess. So to tr the traditional way of doing it is you take these smaller stumps, put it on the bigger stump, you chop the wood, and there you, there you have it, then you start picking it up. But the way I'm gonna do it is as they lay, you swing the ax in that direction and then you just start picking up. When you, they, they get too clustered, you start grabbing and start loading it up into the UTV that's ready over there. And as you're doing that, you're relaxing and cooling off. You're, you know, you're, uh, you're just uh, resting from the increased heart uh, beats, I guess. What am I saying? You are resting because you're exhausted from chopping all that, you know, energy. And then you as you load it you kind of uh, uh you know take it easy and then after you're able after you cleared all the chopped wood then you're able to again start chopping whatever's exposed so i got a couple piles over here and over here so let's get to it and see how it works this is actually pretty cool guys i think you're gonna find this very interesting uh if you did not do this already so let's get to it here we see one bam see this one bam want to slice it again bam See this big bad boy? Bam! Now, the reason why I think it's not this not so safe is because you know you're swinging this thing like a baseball bat, um, and if somebody's around you, you possibly could hurt someone. Uh, versus just going straight down. Either way, you could still also hurt someone if one of these flies off. But um, this one won't fly off because this is a. Uh, Fiskers. This is actually one of my favorite axes. Uh, I purchased this on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested. But this actually works very, very well. And uh, so, yeah, see, I split that one and now I can split it again. This one right here. Nice. Now we're going to go into four. And because all this wood is around it, it's actually keeping a lot of these in place. Okay. All right. Here's one. See, if it's not exactly where I need it, I try to swing, I try to uh, break it in half. If I don't, at least I can pull it. All right. Nice. See, I just repositioned myself. Nice. All right. This one right here. Nice. Nice. All right, see, as you can see, I'm exhausted. And normally, if I wasn't talking to you on the camera, I'd be doing this, uh, putting way more energy into it. And then when I get exhausted like this, all I have to do is take my time, slowly load up the trailer. As you'll see, I'll probably uh, fill a whole cart up just by what I just did here, axing it in place. You can see how much time I saved. You can be the judge for yourself if this is something that's worth it for you. As you can see, we cleared it out. Now I can see a little bit more. Okay. See this one? I don't have to move it. Slice it right in half. Here's another one. I'm not sure if you can see that one. Look at that. So I'm not picking these up. There you go. All right. The downfall is you could trip. You're standing on a bunch of piles of wood, and some of them are a little bit too buried. But this it still works. Let's see if we can get this one going. Nice. Nice. There's a big knot there. <laughs> Forget that one.
Fisker guys, really nice hacks. Uh, I'll leave down the link down below. I have two of them. This is uh, one of my favorite ones. Pretty cheap too. I think it was only like 45 bucks. All right guys, as you can see, the UTV is pretty much full. You know, you can consider it full, but I actually like to stack it all the way to the top. But um, yeah, I didn't move any of them. Um, except, you know, the one that I got stuck in the axe, I pulled it out for the most part. You just trap them right on spot. Let's continue over there. This is some kind of a hardwood. I'm not sure what kind it is, but. Even if they're laying sideways, as you can see, I did many of them. Watch this. Maybe it will even work with the first try. Nice. First try, guys, sideways. Look at that. Slid it open. What do you guys think? Is this dangerous? I know it is. Definitely, definitely, definitely if you have somebody next to you. Do you guys do this? Did any of you uh, do this before? Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, what you saw me chop here, it all is, look at that, all that and a full load. Um, yeah, guys, uh, if you are interested in this axe, um, this axe is awesome. Where is that? That Fisker axe, it chops wood very nice. Well, thank you, guys, and catch you next time.